Hi, my name is Chris. I'm 25 years old. Uh, I was born in Zimbabwe, but I've been in the UK for about eight years now. Um, I've always been interested in the human body, what it, what it can do, what it's capable of, um, how things work. I am a personal trainer. That's my passion. That's what I, I like to do. I, I train people quite regularly, um, but I've got a wealth of knowledge behind me. So I've done uh, a master's degree in pharmacy. I've done um, a diploma in sports nutrition, a diploma in advanced nutrition, a diploma in my personal training. Um, diploma in uh, phlebotomy. I've, uh, I've done researching or courses into uh, gene testing etc and I do food intolerance testing. Um, that I feel helps a lot towards opening doors on the type of clientele I see in terms of personal training. Uh, so um, I got into bodybuilding just because when you're a younger lad and you're growing up and you see all these um, uh, magazines out and these fantastic bodies on show it just made me think, wow, I'd like to look like that. Um, so I set myself goals, I started following bodybuilding. Um, you know, you got your, your favorite bodybuilders and I thought, I want to strive to, to achieve something of that sort. Um, so I just kind of got into to weight training. I used to play cricket when I was young and I used to swim, uh, but got into the weights room, started adding on muscle tissue um, through obviously what I've learned through my studies, uh, applying that to my own um, practices and saw results and never, never turned back really. And then just decided to step on stage one day and I just caught the bug for it. Yeah, my favorite bodybuilder is Flex Lewis. Um, he's Welsh actually, uh, but he's you know, living in the, in the USA now, um, but he's definitely my, my all time favorite bodybuilder. Um, my favorite, well, what I specialize in is bodybuilders because uh, it's what I've spent a lot of my time um, researching, uh, you know, body compositional changes. But most of my clients really are just general everyday people who want to get fitter, uh, who wants to just really enjoy being in their own skin. Uh, they might you know, want to lose weight or get a bit stronger or just from a mental health point of view, just be more active. Um, so what I'd say to someone who lacks motivation is just trying to find the why of what they're doing. So really uh, don't just choose a goal because someone says do it. You want to really want it. So I, I usually tell people if they have a goal, why do you want that goal? Um, and then kind of go from there you can start brainstorming, yeah. And the most common request is fat loss for sure, that's the, the most common. And then second to that is probably how to get stronger. Um, if someone was asking me how to lose weight, I'd say the first thing to do is, uh, well, first thing to, to note is consistency and adherence. You could have the most nutritionally sound uh, protocol to follow and the best uh, training program, but if you don't stick to it, it ain't going to really do anything. Um, so usually with my clients, I would sit them down, I'd go through, I'll do it, you know, look at all their, their lifestyle as a whole, what they're doing as nutrition, training, um, any sort of stress related issues, so whether it be work or they're not sleeping, uh, and just kind of adjust things and see what they can stick to, what they can adhere to. Usually it's nutritional modalities um, and just trying to add a bit of uh, vari variety in there, uh, but at the same time sticking to their the numbers of what I've calculated that will work towards their goals. Uh, the same, uh, so what I'd say to someone who's looking to gain muscle, again, uh, consistency and uh, adherence. So uh, I would look at what their training protocol is like. Are they eating sufficiently to recover and, and get stronger? Um, and are they, are they looking at, you know, uh, incorporating the correct modalities, you know, progressive overload, etc. So I'd kind of break down everything that they're doing and then incorporate what would work towards their goal. Uh, yes, I do have success stories. Um, most of them are, are, are general, uh, everyday people, general public. Um, I've got some uh, bodybuilding success stories who've uh, worked their way towards the stage, but most of them are everyday people who've lost weight and they can fit into, you know, going from a dress size and dropping two dress sizes, etc. Or, you know, a businessman who can just feel more confident in their suit and gain some muscle. Um, I, do, uh, I do anticipate getting back into bodybuilding. I've done two shows now. Um, I've been bodybuilding for about three years. Um, this year I'm taking time off as I'm focusing on business um, and focusing on what my clients need rather than what I need. But next year, 2019 or even 2020, I'll be doing my next show and I'll be making a, a big impact. Um, for someone who gets all their advice from YouTube, I, I would say be careful of where you get your information from and make sure it's reliable and it's not just someone who they've just might have done a, a dummy's guide to nutrition or, or training and they don't really know what they're talking about or they don't have hand-to-hand um, -hand experience of dealing with clients and getting results. 
I would I'd refer them first of all to the Essentials Guide uh, of Sports Nutrition and Bodybuilding. Uh, Dr. Jonathan Lee has a wealth of knowledge in this sort of area and he's uh, relayed it quite well in his, in his book and I think it's a, a nice sort of guide for them to read over and put, in, put, you know, put into their own practice. Uh, so what got me into pharmacy is, um, as I say, I'm in, I was interested and still am interested in the human body and all the intricate details of how things come together. Um, and when I was looking at degree courses, I was thinking, what should I study? And just for some reason, pharmacy stood out to me. But I also thought later on, when I'm dealing with uh, clients, and as most of them are everyday general public people, um, a lot of people nowadays are taking prescription medication for whatever chronic um, disease they might have. And I thought it would help me with whenever I plan their nutrition appropriately, I could think about any interactions that might happen with their prescription medication. It just kind of opens up um, a wider range of what I can do. Uh, what do I think of supplements? Um, I think there's some very good supplements out there and then there's some very um, bad supplements out there. It's all in the, in the quality and how, what, how the company cares for their um, customers really. Uh, so you could have, uh, well I mean there is companies out there that cheap out on you know, the ingredients that they use and ethically sourcing things etc. Um, but I do think supplements are a, a very good tool to use in, in one's um, uh, goals. So if I had to choose five supplements for someone who's looking to, to basically build muscle and lose fat, uh, I do like to incorporate health orientated supplements as a, as a base and then look at any specific supplements thereafter. Um, in, the, in this country, with the lack of sunshine we get, vitamin D3 is, uh, is generally a must, but usually I like to refer patients on to getting you know, blood levels tested of vitamin D. Um, I would say a probiotic is beneficial, um, and I would say a general base uh, multivitamin, good quality multivitamin. So those are my, my three there. And then I'd uh, look into whey protein and uh, L-glutamine.